Squid the cauliflower and squeeze out as much of the water as you can. Today we are going to make gopi paratha or stuffed cauliflower paratha. The ingredients are atta or wheat flour dough, the cauliflower grated and the water squeezed out, 500 grams. Oil for frying the paratha. Anardana or ground grape seeds, green chili, one finely chopped ginger paste, ajwain or caram seeds, aradhania or cilantro chopped, coriander powder or dhania powder, red chili powder, salt, and garam masala. Except for the atta and the oil. Mix all the ingredients into the gobi, the grated uh, cauliflower, the cilantro and the rest of the spices and other ingredients one by one. Add all of them and you will need to Thoroughly mix in all these ingredients into the grated gobi or cauliflower. Mix these ingredients well with the grated uh, gobi or the cauliflower. Mix them thoroughly. And this is the stuffing for the gobi paratha. Since the grated uh, gobi will be stuffed into the paratha or the dough, you need to remove as much of the water as possible from the grated cauliflower. Now the gobi stuffing is ready. Heat the tawa on medium flame. Tawa heats, take some dough, make a small ball, flatten it, dip it in some dry flour and make a small round roti, a thin round roti. The first one is almost done and now roll out the second one as before. The two rotis are rolled out. Now take some stuffing and spread on the one of the rotis. Spread all around on the roti. And then take the other roti, put it on top and then seal the edges with a dry flour if you wish. Close the edges from both the sides. Flip it over and close again. And then roll it. Roll this roti to flatten the stuffing. And check if the tawa is hot or not. Yes, it is hot. Now place this stuffed uh, paratha on the hot tawa, let one side cook a little. Now flip it over and let the other side cook a bit as well. 
the side is slightly cooked, add about a teaspoon of oil, spread it all over the paratha and then flip it over so that that side cooks and now this side if you wish to have a slightly less oily paratha do not add oil but flip it over so that it can cook on this side but if you wish to have a more crisper paratha you add some oil about a teaspoon on this side as well and then flip it over but spread it before you flip it over and let this side cook now the oil will make the paratha crisper of course more tastier but if you prefer less oil you can make the paratha even without oil or less oil it's your choice see that the edges are cooked well and the both sides are cooked evenly the paratha is almost done now one side needs a little more cooking it's done transfer the paratha to a plate and there you have it the stuffed cauliflower paratha or the gobi paratha have it with butter fresh cream yogurt and some pickle do try it hope you like the video thanks for watching have a nice day and please send us your feedback